Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Eliza. And welcome to this week's unboxing. We're a little late this week and we have a bunch of stuff to get through. So we're going to do a, another two-parter and we're going to start out with two big boxes of books for grown-ups. Actually, one big box and one smallish box, but it's a lot of good books. So get ready. Grab a boy. The Art of Running in Heels by Rachel Gibson. Looks like maybe a little chiclet. Yeah, that looks like just a super fun little romance. I would, especially if you like a paperback. Yeah, not so heavy. Uh, so it's a little bit heavier. Um, Bobby Kennedy, a rising spirit, nonfiction, it's like a biography. I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's, look, it's got lots of pictures inside of all the Kennedys. Uh, the Truth as Told by Mason Buttle. This is a juvenile Oops. fiction by Leslie Connor. How did that sneak it in there? It snuck in. It was a sneaky book. <laughs> uh, the Graves, A Fine and Private Place. This is part of the ongoing Flavia de Luz mystery series, which is really fun. And they're just short little mysteries about a sort of precocious girl living in uh, a castle with her dad and her sisters. I've heard really good reviews from yeah, people. Yeah, they're fun. Oh, this is the same book twice. The same book twice because it's so important, apparently. Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House by Michael Wolf. There are 800 holds on it. That's why we got we got uh, two copies. <laughs> so many people want to read it. One box down. <laughs> Ooh, I want to talk about this one. Um, this is Women in Power by Mary Bird, who's sort of uh, an academic, and this is about uh, you know feminism and sort of a historical look about how women have been silenced and disenfranchised. There was an excerpt in it, I think, of it, I think, in The Guardian. But right before we started this video, a woman just came and asked for this book, which made me really happy. So we have to process it really quickly and get it on the shelf. And I just want to mention, I'm just seeing, like, there's a praise for Mary Beard on the back. And the first is by the New Yorker <laughs> that calls her a troll slayer. It's because she's always mixing it, up, mixing it up on Twitter. And it's she's, really short. Yeah. It's short. That's the other thing. So Yeah, she's really awesome. <laughs> Uh, the next one is The Financial Diet, A Total Beginner's Guide to Getting Good with Money by Chelsea Fagan. I sort of love this because in the new year, there's always lots of diet books and there's lots of financial planning books. And someone was like, aha, let's put them together. But this looks like short and kind of like very readable. So yeah. I, I probably won't read it, but it's readable. Uh, this is another uh, Whole30 cookbook. The Whole30 is a popular diet where you sort of eliminate almost all the foods <laughs> in your diet over 30 days, and then it's supposed to sort of reset you so that you can be healthier afterwards. And so there are a bunch of cookbooks to go with it. We have a lot of those here. Mm -hmm. they, a lot of people do it. Uh, a new one by Daniel Steele called Fall from Grace. This is a paperback mystery by Andrea Camilleri. It's in the Inspector Montalbano <laughs> series. Um, I have I haven't read these, but they look um, they look really cool. I think they take place in Italy. Is it like a cozy mystery? I think it's a little more on the cozy side, and it's the quote the blurb on the back is from Donna Leone, so it might be a good one for readers of Donna Leone. Um, next is Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics, a 10% happier how-to book by Dan Harris. That's, I like I, the title. Yeah, I listened to an interview with him, maybe on The Daily Show or something. I don't know. It, it was really, it was an interesting look about how, like, you know, everyone could potentially incorporate a little bit of meditation into their lives and it wouldn't, wouldn't hurt us. This one is called The Perfect Nanny. It's been getting a lot of buzz and it's, um... I don't know. It's just about a family gets this nanny and then like all this stuff sort of builds and happens and it's sort of mysterious. And I'm a little nervous to read it because I'm worried bad things happen to the kids. I really, <laughs> we both have young kids, so we're super paranoid so about that. If you read but this, I don't know what happens. happens. Yeah. If somebody reads this, tell me if it's going to be too scary for me. It looks super intense, but I still want to read it. I just, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> the gentle art of Swedish Death cleaning. This is a real thing. I just had to make sure that I was reading it. Yeah. How to free yourself and your family from a lifetime of clutter by Margarita Magnusson. 
I feel like whoever came up with the term death cleaning maybe could have used a little bit of a better marketing uh, firm, but just kidding, they didn't use a marketing firm. I think it's just a translation. Uh, but it is actually a really good idea, like thinking about um, what, you know, what of your stuff you want to leave behind and not leaving all of it. It has nothing to do sense. with actual death. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. really intense cleaning and embracing minimalism. So. <laughs> Ooh, gradient knits. These are so gorgeous. This just looks so pretty. I think my stepmom would really like this kind of thing. It looks like maybe difficult. They, unless they you're, look a little tricky, but if you knit all the well, time, look though, at this lacy like one. It. Yeah. And if you don't know, we have a knit and crochet group that meets every Friday at six at the library. You can come and hang out with people and bring a project. <laughs> Uh, when the scientific secrets of perfect timing by Daniel Pink. He's a really his books are always go out a lot. He has certain to sell is human drive and a whole new mind are some of his books. Bernard Cornwell, a popular historical fiction writer, and uh, this one is called Fools and Mortals. Uh, Lost Connections, Uncovering the Real Causes of Depression and the Unexpected Solutions by Johan Hari. So this one, <laughs> I also read an article about, and it's sort of talking about how maybe the science between behind antidepressants is not as strong as we thought, and it's more, I don't know, really interesting look at what might actually be causing depression. And, and what's really interesting is that Elton John has left room like uh -oh. has left praise for it if you've ever been down or felt lost this amazing book will change your life huh. i, I want to take a look oh interesting treating people well the extraordinary power of civility at work and in life the cover is a little hard to read it's treating people well but other than that um Seems like a good idea, right? Forward yeah. by Laura Bush. I don't think it hurt. Uh, a new one by Jane Ann Krentz, Promise Not to Tell, another thriller. Oh. Preston and Child, City of Endless Night. These always go out really fast. Stuart Woods, Unbound. <laughs> Susan Mallory, Sisters Like Us, getting ready for the beach season. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's really ready. <laughs> oh, this looks interesting. Yeah. The English Wife by Lauren Willig. I'm assuming, it, is it like a historical? Yeah. Yeah, it's a historical fiction. Um, that some Somewhere in England, London. It says it's suspenseful. I will probably be taking a look at that. I really like the cover. Ooh. This looks like a thriller. A Map of the Dark by Karen Ellis. Uh, oh my goodness. It looks really scary, I won't lie. This yeah. Fans of Even, Tana French. Oh, I love Tana French. That's me. I am a fan of Tana French and Megan Abbott. Race Against Time. Oh, they're thriller. looking for a missing teenage girl. The cover is really great. Look at that, that tree. It looks awesome. It's no for me. It's too <laughs> scary. <laughs> The Longevity Diet by Walter Longo. Discover the new science behind stem cell activation and regeneration to slow aging, fight disease, and optimize weight. Sounds like good if you're trying to be healthy in the new year. I mean, he has a PhD, so. Oh. <laughs> this is this is like a more serious historical one. I remember reading about this one by Max Boot. It's called The Road Not Taken, and it's a biography of, um, I guess, a guy who is a CIA operative in both World War II and Vietnam. It's a big one. Yeah, it's really big and it's heavy. It looks like there's some photos. Yeah. Um, Soulful Simplicity, How Living with Less Can Lead You to So Much More by Courtney Carver. I feel like this is kind of a theme right now with the huga and um, minimalism in general. Tiny yeah. houses. Oh my goodness, which one should I pick? Two Girls Down. This looks like another mystery thriller, uh, maybe about... 
Oh my God. Two young daughters disappear from a strip mall. A mother's worst nightmare. That is like a mother's <laughs> worst nightmare. <laughs> but uh, good intense thriller if you're looking for something you will not be putting down. Uh, the Super Metabolism Diet by David Zinczenko. Another health and diet book. And the last one is The Soul of an Octopus, which is actually was published last year and was super popular. But I realized our copy was missing and we are doing it for book club. So come get it and then you can come to book club. And we have an empty box. But we'll be back for part two with DVDs.